Hey, my name is Sarah Morrison, and I really was bad at reading pretty much for like my whole life. I was always dreadful when I was assigned a book to read or a ton of pages to read in a class. And after college ended, I kind of was like, hey, I don't have to read anymore. Yay. So my reading kind of got even worse. But good news. Now I love to read. I pretty much do it every day. And I have read so many amazing books that I would listen to people be like, oh, this book was so great. And then I read this book and this book. And I was just kind of like, ugh jealous a little bit. Like I wish I could do that. I wish I could get into that. And now I'm doing that. So I want to share with you how I started um, getting better at this and went from basically falling asleep as soon as I started reading something to actually being able to comprehend it and share it back again with people. And best of all, let it affect my life, actually learn from it. So I've got four tips on how you can start to pick up books and read. Okay. So my first tip it's just start with something enjoyable. Now listen, I worked somewhere where they would do book reports. Oh my gosh, that was a nightmare at the meetings. It was like, oh, give your book report on how um, you liked From Good to Great, complete personal development book. And they'd be like, Sarah, do you want to do it? I'm like, nope. <laughs> I just refused and somehow I got away with it. But I couldn't start with a personal development book. I couldn't start with nonfiction, you know? I had to start with something that I could just get back into the habit of reading with and start to speed up, you know, like your coordination and messaging between your eyes to your brain and start to improve my focus again on that page. So literally things like The Hunger Games, Fifty Shades of Grey, not joking. I started there and was able to just get back into the habit of reading and start to improve. So start with something small. Maybe you already rock at reading those books. Great. You ready for the next step? Step two, don't do it in bed. If you find yourself falling asleep when you're reading, don't do it in bed unless you're having trouble falling asleep and you want to fall asleep. Okay. So for me, every time I would try to do it at the end of the day, my brain is going a million miles a minute. The last thing I need to do is try and focus on one thing. What I should be doing is just trying to shut it all down so I can go to sleep. Um, and I was tired. It was really hard to pay attention. My mind was wandering. So what I started doing is doing it first thing in the morning. Now, this really helped. Like, you can do it anytime throughout the day, but I did it first thing in the morning. I went and I sat at my kitchen counter. So I'm not in bed. I'm not in a comfy chair. Sometimes I'll even sit in my really comfy chase lounge that I love to curl up in, and I'll try and read, and I get really tired. So try not to be too comfortable is really what step number two should be. Don't be comfortable when you read. Sit up. Be in a position where you're not easily going to get distracted or fall asleep. So for me, that was so nice. Just be at my kitchen counter focusing on reading, and I was like, I am loving this. It's super enjoyable. So step number three, I've mentioned a couple times, is just to eliminate distractions. If you're not good, like there are some people I know who are so good at tuning other people out, you know, like you're talking to them, they don't even hear you. It's like shocking that they can do that. That's not me. I'm like, oh, 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 I have to eliminate distractions. Another reason why I love doing it early morning or when my kids are napping because it's quiet. My kids are running around, they're talking to each other, they're playing. Um, if there's lawnmowers and stuff outside, I'm outside trying to read, I get a little distracted. So if that bothers you, pick a time when you're not going to have those noises. Turn off the TV in the background, turn your phone onto silent. Um, and then my last goal is to basically, okay, I've got five tips. Let me see. Before I get to one, that last one, another tip is to set small goals. Like I would say, I just want to read this one section. Or sometimes books are broken up into nice small sections, so it's not like these 20-page long chapters. And I'm like, I'm going to read three of these sections. You know, it felt so doable. You could accomplish. Or I'm going to read 10 pages today. I'm going to read five pages today. Anything. Reading one page a day is a step forward, especially if you actually absorb the information. So set some small goals there. And the last tip is do not compare. I've got friends that are amazing readers and they'll say like, they're not trying to make you feel bad, but they say things like, oh yeah, I read that book this weekend. I'm like, you read a book in a weekend? Wow. <laughs> like, I'm just like, oh, I'm, just, I'm a horrible reader is what I tell myself. And when you tell yourself those things, they start to become reality. So you have to stop telling
telling yourself that. So don't compare. Don't worry about how fast someone else is reading. Don't worry about how many books they've read, uh, what they're getting through. You can't compare. You don't know what they're taking from it. You don't know what really happens. So don't even waste your time comparing. Um, don't worry about your speed. Just worry about absorbing it. And as you start to get more used to it, you'll be able to you know, increase. Now I read a lot of personal development books. I'm reading a book right now called Big, Mag Big Magic that I love. And something that I've just started doing, so I've done audiobooks, but I've also done a lot of hold them in your hand, highlight a ton as you go along. Oh yeah, there's some highlights. Um, and that's great, that works. But this is the first time I've ever read a book on an electronic device. And let me tell you, I'm loving it. You can't really see it because um, and there's big magic coming up because I'm not holding that like, oh my gosh, I still have so many pages to read. I have no idea. It's just, hey, I'm already halfway through is what it tells me down here in the bottom corner. I just swipe and you can highlight right here in it. So this was totally worth it. Like you can get these things for, you know, under a hundred bucks. And it's so fun to be able to just pick it up and read a little bit. And it's almost like I pay better attention two words on a screen. It's probably because of social media and everything like that. So those are some tips that I hope will help you just get back in the reading game and start to enjoy yourself again, because there is a lot of amazing things that I have learned in books. It's changed the way I think and feel, and um, gosh, you're missing so much. So give it a whirl.